What's going on guys? My name is Senior Ass Hat and I still hate insurance. Still! To this very moment, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, the gravel on my car. Oh, it makes my butt pucker. I have so much bird shit all over my car, it makes me upset. So the reason why I hate insurance is because my motorcycle insurance is coming up for renewal in June. Um, it's still fucking outrageous. All I know is once my Vulcan's paid off, it's gone. I'm selling it, I'm getting a brand new bike. And I'm getting a bike that has not been stolen a thousand fucking times, apparently. Because who knew that a Kawasaki Vulcan Custom 900 2013 is stolen? Left, right, and fucking center. Not this guy. So, I don't know. I don't know why people like stealing the bike. I mean, granted, it is a nice bike and all. But it's not, it's not that nice. I'm just putting that out there. I mean, granted, it's a pretty bike. But not enough to be stolen a bajillion, gajillion times. So... It fucking sucks. And I just wonder. I wonder if it would be better for me to get a fucking, like, crotch rocket or something. Even though you think that crotch rockets and stuff more appealing to the eye, more people would steal them. I don't know. I just think it's stupid because my insurance rate, even though I've had no accidents, no accidents, nothing like that, uh, I've had my license technically for three years because the course gives you a year and I've been driving for two seasons. Uh, actually has gone up $4 for the year. I mean, granted, it's $4. Who the fuck cares? That's like 50 cents or whatever a month. Um, still, like that's... Or no, I'm sorry, it's like a dollar a month. I apologize. Um, that's still retarded. Why? Why is it going up if I've had no accidents and just been a better driver? I called my insurance company and was like, all right, so if my insurance right now is covered for the bike for 10 10300 if I reduce the cost of the amount that's insured, will it make a difference? He said, no, because one, it's financed and they won't do anything less than the bike, which I understand. I mean, if you want to take a financial loss, that should be your fucking prerogative. It shouldn't be the insurance company to say yes or no. Ugh. I mean, what, what the hell does the bank care? The bank's going to get their money one way or another, whether I pay them or the insurance pays them. I mean, granted, if my, if my bike gets destroyed and I only insured it for $5,000 and it's worth ten, well, guess who's taking the financial crunch of $5,000? This guy. The bank doesn't give a flying fuck. They're still going to get their money. I just still think, based on my, my rant from prior that insurance is still a fucking scam. The only time it ever pays off is if you fucking wreck your bike and you are okay. The only thing that got wrecked was the bike. Seriously, if you walk away with a sprained wrist or a broken arm, but the bike's totaled, you got off fine because guess what? You just fucked the system. I find anyway. Now, I mean, granted, if you got into an accident and really, really fucking hurt yourself, well, I'm sorry to hear that. And I gotta get over. What in the ever-loving fuck is that car? Okay, cool. And this license plate, the Hyundai, is SMADS. S-M-A-D-S. He got some SMAD skills. Okay. But anyway, sorry guys, I'm getting off topic. I just, I can't fucking understand it. Whoa, truck. That was loud as motherfucking hell. Scared the ever-loving shit out of me. Jesus Christ. Murphy, I Christ. Anyway, I don't understand. I don't get it. Uh, I still think it's a scam. I really do. And car insurance, same thing. Scam. All scams. Bastards. Uh, I just wonder what bike I should get next. Maybe a bike that's not popular like maybe not get a cbr 600 or something stupid like that or cbr 1000 get a bike that no one ever buys no one so can't say it's gonna be fucking stolen all that stuff i kind of still want that bmw 1000 rr though mm. at least that way i'd have a bike that if it does cost me 1500 a fucking year then i could actually say hey, yeah i can see it 
not a fucking budget Kawasaki cruiser style, fucking three years old now. But no, guys, that's my rant on insurance part two. I, I don't understand. I really don't, even to this day. Uh, so if you guys know what bikes are cheap on insurance, let me know. I want something that's going to go fast and something that looks pretty. So normally CBRs would be like the go-to or ninjas, whatever, M2. But guys, let me know. My name is Senior Ansat, signing off. Uh, bike vlogs are going to be coming soon. It only is just starting to get nice now. Uh, so you guys can expect a lot of those soon. And as always, Senior Ansat, signing off. Love you guys' faces, and I'll see you guys next time.